Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back inside Remix Lounge, inside the Strat Casino on Las Vegas Boulevard for Hal Savar's Homegrown Songwriter Showcase. If you haven't been here before, welcome! Aside from the usual content on this channel, Hal Savar also asked me to livestream these showcases on the channel. If you'd like to check it out, I put the link for last Sunday's livestream in the description. This week's showcase was full of new friends, old friends, and everything in between. So strap in, kiddos, because we're heading downtown. But first, an apology. I forgot to mark the live stream public at the time. Sorry, everyone. What an idiot! Oh, what a loser! Instead of talking about the casino and the venue, which I've already done in another video, let's jump straight into the showcase, shall we? Opening up the show was our host, Hal Savar. If you haven't seen him perform live, it's amazing how people just naturally start engaging with him and his music. With songs about familiar themes like being cheated on, a father's message to his son, and more, Hal's dynamic songwriting always warms up a crowd quick. This sets the stage nicely for the first non-host act of the night, Robert Stokes. I'll be interviewing Robert in the upcoming weeks, so make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out. Incidentally, if you'd like to be reviewed, interviewed, or both on this channel, hit me up using the social media link down in the description. It's also how you can score some sweet merch like this. Show the world you support Room 6 and the local music scene. Robert's songwriting is always a joy to experience, being full of fun and lightheartedness while simultaneously dealing with broken hearts and annoying audience members from the past. Freebird! Combining reggae sounds and rhythms with clever lyrics and an almost self-effacing attitude, Robert is a great choice to open or close a show. If you get the chance, definitely catch him with his full band. Daniel Harrett came up next, rocking his White Sox gear and ready to play ball. Sorry, Daniel, I, I had to do it. Switching the vibe from reggae to folk music, Daniel's performing seems to come from a place of hard-won experience and pain. Using the dynamics of volume and intensity to create an ebb and flow in his songs, Daniel created an atmosphere of introspection and observation that made me glad I had a glass of whiskey in my hand. Up next was recent friend of the channel and someone I literally interviewed the day before the showcase, Sage Waters. Subscribe and keep your eyes peeled for that one. She's actually giving my viewers a sneak peek at an unreleased song. <laughs> Exuding grace and confidence, even when cracking herself up in the middle of singing one of her own songs, Sage endeared herself to everyone in attendance, while impressing us all with amazing vocal runs and breath control. If you're local, you can catch Sage Waters three times a week at Capo's Italian Restaurant and Speakeasy and once a week at La Casa Cigar Lounge. Swing by if you can, you'll be glad you did. Chalmer Harper stepped on stage next, and uh, once again, his simple plucking guitar highlighted his words, which alternated between almost spoken word style and soaring moments of attention-getting power. From rabble-rousing political anthems to songs about keeping love alive, Chalmer's music has something for everyone. Check out more of his stuff by using the link in the description if you get the chance. Our next songwriter of the night was Nydia Martinez, who also was one of a few performers rocking an electric guitar that night. Nydia's songwriting flowed out of her with a passion that comes from getting your emotions onto a tear-stained page and into a song. Her vocal phrasing reminded me a little of Olivia Rodrigo, but still distinctly her own. I'm looking forward to interviewing her soon. Next batter up was Quinn Turner, who I first met at the Artisan Hotel when the showcase was temporarily held there. Quinn's writing is uplifting and positive, with his vocals alternating between matching his guitar playing and counterpointing it as well. Quinn's mellow attitude definitely comes through in his music, and it was nice to realize that who he is on stage is exactly who he is off stage. After another set from Hal Savar, the next person on stage was Ronnie Wilde, who's a friend of Sage's with some great songs in her own right. Ronnie's voice has a lilting vibrato to it that complemented her guitar playing which drove the songs forward. Her music made great use of her vocal dynamics, chord changes straight out of the Beatles one second and then using elements of the band Cake. Ronnie's set left us wanting more and I'm glad I'll get to hear more of it at her upcoming interview. Back for a second week in a row, like a few of the performers at this showcase, Cameron Paul hit the stage ready to make some hearts throb. 
the only act singing to a track that evening, Cameron definitely had some fans in the crowd. His delivery was smooth and seductive, but he also had no problem turning it up with Dark Iris, a guest singer joining him on stage for a slightly more adult-themed offering. Both artists are talented, and it was nice to see them play off of each other, and they're both going to be on the channel. Scotty Dub, another great fan of the channel, was up next. Joining him on stage, playing a cajon, was Patrick Webster from Exist More Media. Scotty's music is known for setting the party vibe off and helping people settle in for a chill and fun evening. Scotty hosts his own acoustic shows at Chiba Hut on Rainbow and Sahara on Fridays. Swing by if you're in the area for more local talent and some dank subs. And now for something unexpected. Due to some last minute cancellations, Hal had to grab a few local musicians out of the audience to fill some slots. Who would be first to jump out of their seat? Another recent Room 6 alumni, Russ Lacasse to the rescue! With Patrick staying on stage to support Russ on his cajon, the audience was treated to an impromptu pairing. As usual, Russ's music combined his laconic vocal style with songwriting that has earned him two Grammy recommendations. After another set by Robert Stokes, another musical friend got tagged to step up from the crowd, and that lucky guy was David Wax. David always brings an intensity to his performing that smacks of lots and lots of practice. With strong vocals and complicated chord progressions, David always reminds me how much more I Need to pick up my guitar and play. Thanks, David. No, really. Thanks. Once David was done, Hal jumped back on stage to finish out the night. Overall, the second showcase in a row at the Strat, inside Remix Lounge, was a success, if a bit different than originally intended. For those of you that wanted to watch the live stream, I apologize. For those of you that came to the show, thank you on behalf of all the performers and myself. We'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you'll check out all the artists I mentioned by uh, using the social media links in the description. Also, if you want to support the channel or hit me up about being on the channel, go ahead and use my social media link down there. Uh, there's all sorts of ways that you can contact and support. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I really would appreciate it. Please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing and we'll see you next time on Room 6.